Welcome back, True Seeker. In St. Paul, Minnesota, they just had their first black mayor sworn in, Melvin Carter. And notice this middle headline right here. Understanding Mayor Carter's reference to national anthem as... Notice the emphasis right here. See the emphasis around un? An ode to slavery. They emphasize that phrase, an ode to slavery. Look, again, anytime the media emphasizes a phrase, it is not a coincidence. They emphasize the phrase because there's gematria there. The name Melvin Carter has gematria 59 and 76. Same with an ode to slavery, 5976. Remember, the Civil War ended in history on May 9th, 5 slash 9. Negro, using the alphabetic order, 59. Slave, 59. Blues, 59. Flip the alphabetic order around. Negro, slave, blues, all 76 as well. The Million Man March was on the day that left 76 days left in the year. This is what I'm explaining, people. Everything in this nation is a script. And the people who get to be the faces on television, mayors, public office, they are born and bred to be. Manchurians, that's what the word is. When you're born and bred to be for something, you're a Manchurian. Right here we have a Manchurian. This man's a puppet. These people... Again, check out the movie Get Out. It doesn't mention MK Ultra, but what that movie's about is MK Ultra. Mind control is a real thing. You can raise people from a young age to be mind controlled puppets, and I would imagine that the majority of people who are in the mainstream, who are on the television, they're under mind control and they are being controlled remotely. People who are under MK Ultra can be controlled remotely. These are real things. You know, they farm these puppets for their agenda. They're trying to create racial difference. This guy's right to criticize the flag, but understand he's not doing it out of free will. He's doing it because he's commanded to be. And consider this man's up in Minnesota where they're hosting the Super Bowl, which is next month. And this year, a big deal about the flag and race was made by the president, another Manchurian, another puppet, you know? You see how this all comes together? They keep using the Super Bowls for race, race symbolism. Now you got this first black mayor in Minnesota talking about the flag and race a month before the Super Bowls in his state. None of this is coincidental. Melvin Carter. You see? Something else that I thought about, I said, is St. Paul on the 93rd Meridian like Minneapolis, Minnesota? And it sure is. Just like Minneapolis, St. Paul's on the 44th parallel and the 93rd Meridian. And right away, what that makes me think of is Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. 93, Malcolm X 93, both men assassinated at age 39. The segregation era was said to have ended in 39. Didn't really end in 39, but they say the segregation era ended in 39. Black History Month also 93, you know? Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. both killed on dates in connection to 44. Martin Luther King Jr. shot 4-4 April 4th, the word kill 44. Malcolm X assassinated on a date with numerology of 44. His assassin was Thomas Hagen, which equals 44. Thomas Hagen got 44 years in prison. See, now you got this black mayor. He's going to turn 39 years old at some point in 2018, his first year in office. Stuff's not coincidence. They put him in at age 38. Remember, Africa equals 38, Jamaica 38. A lot of black men die by the number 38 as well. Death equals 38, murder 38, killing 38. We'll see how popular this man becomes in the media. This could just be his 15 minutes right here, talking out before the Super Bowl, which is all scripted around this narrative, race and the flag. The point to understand is everything in this nation, puppet show, no elections are legitimate. Malvin Carter put in office, just like every elected official is put in office.